In today's video, I'm going to share 15 Procreate gestures that I use every single week, and I hope that you can start using them too. If you're interested, please keep on watching. Hello and welcome to Color with Kendi. Today's video is a follow along style video. That way you can follow along and learn with me. I think that's the best way to learn. But if you would like to watch this at a faster speed, you can change that in the settings. Just click on the wrench icon and change the playback speed. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you're following along, just open up a canvas, any canvas of your choice. It can be something you've made or it can be an empty canvas. And let's just make a couple marks. So I'm just gonna color in these flowers. You can just make a few marks on your screen. Okay, once you've made a few marks, I'm gonna show you how to undo and redo with gestures. So you've probably seen me do this in many of my videos. If I want to undo something, two fingers on the screen, and it will undo and I can keep doing it and it will keep undoing. Now, if I want to redo those moves, three fingers on the screen, just tap and it will redo. Now you can undo quicker instead of tapping multiple times, you can just hold and it will quickly remove everything. And if you tap with three fingers and hold, it will redo everything. These are moves I use pretty much every single day in Procreate. So definitely is much faster than going here to undo and redo. The next Procreate gestures every beginner should know, zoom, pinch, and rotate. So let's say I have a canvas and I wanted to zoom in very simply, just take two fingers, it can be any two fingers, and just move your fingers outwards a little, it will zoom in. And you'll notice that the more and more you zoom in, it will seem like you're seeing pixels because you are. Procreate is a pixel based program. You are going to see pixels. And to zoom out, just gently start to close your fingers in a little bit and zoom out. So that's to zoom in and out. Now let's say you wanted this canvas to fit the screen in the orientation it's at. Then you can pinch. So there's a pinching gesture where you take two fingers, any two fingers will do, and quickly pinch and let go and it will fill the screen in the orientation you're at. So if I zoom this and I rotate it like that, just basically move your fingers. And now if I pinch, it will fill the screen. So that's pinch, zoom and rotate. The next trigger gesture, which you may already know from a previous video is the full screen mode. I like to use this when I don't want to see the top bar or the sidebar, but sometimes you just want the experience of, you know, just drawing and not have to worry about any of the tools. So how can you do that? Take four fingers, tap them on the screen, and that gets rid of everything. And now you can zoom in and you can paint and you are not encumbered by the top or the side, which is kind of nice sometimes because, you know, you just want to paint and not worry about all the tools. So that's what you can do. And to get back into the mode where you can see the top and the side, four fingers. And it comes back quite simple and quite convenient. The next appropriate gesture I love to use is a copy and paste menu. So let's say I have these flowers and I wanted to copy them. So the longer way to do this is to go to the layers menu, then tap on the layer and then go to copy. But there's a faster way to do that. So all you have to do is three fingers swipe down, you open up the copy and paste menu. From here, you can cut, you can copy, you can copy all, which will copy everything that you see on the screen, not just the layer you're on. You can duplicate, you can cut and paste in another layer and you can paste. So everything is available to you through this. It's much faster. So let me show you that again. So three fingers swipe down and let's say I wanted to duplicate those flowers. I just tap on duplicate and now I have a duplicate of those flowers. Pretty easy. The next appropriate gesture is clear layer. So let's say I have a layer. So it's a layer here that I'm on. I painted everything on this layer. Typically I would not do that. I would paint things on different layers, but for this example, everything's on one layer. I'm not happy with it and I want to erase it. Instead of manually going to the eraser and then using the eraser tool, the faster way would be to use the clear layer gesture. Take three fingers, scrub on the screen and it's gone. So let me show you that again. I'm going to undo with two fingers 
and basically all you have to do is three fingers and scrub it not tap that will redo scrub it like that and everything's gone from that layer it's the fastest way to remove everything from a layer the next procreate gesture is probably the one that i use the most and that is the color picker tool so here i have a coloring page and i have the colors up here and if i want to select a color i just need to press and hold and i can move my finger and i can select different colors and it will select that color and then i can use that color so just press and hold to select a color and then use the color so it's something I use quite often. If I have a little image here, I will select colors from that. So let me actually show you that while we're here. So let's say I have this image. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know why I have that. So let's say I wanted to select a color from this particular image. Press and hold. And I can move around the screen and then grab the color that I like the most. And that won't work because it's a hidden layer. So it's pretty close to that color, right? So this is a great way to select colors from images or select colors from something that's already on the screen. The next procreate gesture is changing the sidebar position. So this is your sidebar. This is your brush size, your brush opacity, and the undo and redo buttons. Sometimes you may want to move where the sidebar is based off of what's comfortable to you. Okay, so all you have to do to move the sidebar is take one finger. Don't press this button right here, but just press on the black area next to it with your finger and then move your finger to the left or to the right, depending on which side you're on. And then the sidebar will come out of it and then you can move your finger up and down and reposition wherever you want. I'm gonna leave it there. So that way it's kind of out of the way when I'm painting, it's not gonna get in the way. Now, while we're on the topic of sidebars, if you're not happy with where your sidebar is placed, you can always go to the actions menu. This is a little bit of a side topic and you can change it here. So if it says right hand interface, that's what I have right now. If you don't like it there, it will now move to the other side. So that's how you can change it. But I kind of like it here. The next procreate gesture is selecting multiple layers. So let's open up the layers menu and select a canvas where you have multiple layers. So you can test this out. So for example, if I want to select all of these layers, how can I do that with my fingers? So make sure you have one of them selected so it turns blue. Then use your fingers and swipe on the other layers. Swipe to the right like that. And what it will do, it will select all of the layers for you. So this is the main layer, that's the one that you're on, and it's gonna select the rest. This is quite handy when you want to delete multiple layers, so you can just press on delete, or if you want to group multiple layers, or if you want to move multiple layers. So now I have four layers selected, and let's say I want to move them up, I can tap with my finger, make sure that it kind of moves. Do you see that kind of zoomed out? Let's do that again. Ah, sometimes things don't work. Yeah, it kind of zoomed out and then I can move the layers and drop them. So to recap, to select multiple layers, make sure you have one selected blue and then swipe to the right on the rest of the layers and then you can delete group and also move them. The next procreate gesture is alpha lock and we're back to the bird for this. And if you're a beginner, you might be thinking, what's alpha lock and why do I need to know how to use this? So let me talk you through what alpha lock is first. I want to give a very simple example. So I have these flowers and let's say I wanted to add another color on top of these flowers. Let's say I wanted to add this color here, very pale color. And I wanted that color to stay within the bounds of what I've already painted. I don't want it to go outside, but I want it to stay inside the bounds. Actually, this is probably not the right color to show you this with. So I'm gonna show you with another color. So let's say I wanted to paint, but I wanted it to stay within this boundary of the yellow. Right now it's going outside the boundary. So one way to make sure that whatever you paint stays within the boundaries is to use alpha lock. So you go to the layers menu and make sure you're on the right layer and with two fingers, swipe to the right and you will see a checkerboard pattern here. That means you're on alpha lock. And now 
when I paint, it stays within the bounds of what was already underneath. That way, this pink color isn't going outside the original bounds. I mean, this kind of looks a little too much, but just for an example. So this is really great when you want to add detail to something that's already there, but you don't want to go outside the bounds. So let's say you wanted to add some lines to these petals and you didn't want the lines to go outside the bounds of the petals, you would use alpha lock. So let's say I add some lines here. Maybe that's a bit too thick. Let's go a little bit smaller. And do you see, I'm not worried. My pencil stroke is going way outside the bounds of that petal. But I'm not worried about that because Alpha Lock is taking care of that for me. So Alpha Lock is pretty useful when you want to add details to something that's already colored on a layer and you don't want to use a clipping mask. You can just use Alpha Lock. And to turn off Alpha Lock mode, take two fingers and swipe to the right and it will remove that checkerboard. Now if I go in, and did the same thing, it would go outside the bounds. And I'd have to be a little bit more careful about where I draw my lines. So it's a tool, you don't always have to use it, but occasionally it's nice to be able to use it. Now you might be wondering, how is this different from Clipping Mouse? You may have heard of Clipping Mouse. I will tackle that in another video. We'll do a much more detailed video on Alpha Lock and Clipping Mask. But for today, I just wanted to show you the gesture to turn it on and off. Just two fingers, swipe to the right. The next procure gesture is changing the opacity of a layer just by tapping on it. So I have painted the background and the bird, and let's say I wanna change the opacity. There is one way to do it, is to go onto the layer, tap on N, then go to opacity and change it. But there is a faster way to do this. So just make sure that you have the layer selected, and then with two fingers, tap on that layer, and then the opacity slider will come up here, and then you can just move your finger to increase the opacity and reduce the opacity. When would I use this? When I want to change how a particular layer looks. If it's too dark and if it's too opaque, I wanna make it slightly transparent, I can change the opacity. It's a bit faster than going into the layers menu and tapping on N. So just any layer, anything, I can change the opacity of those flowers, tap, and then you can change the opacity. And this is a great way to see how changing opacity can change the vibe of your illustration. And the last pro gesture is pinching layers. So let's say I have a bunch of different layers and I want them all to be on one layer. How can I do that? You can just pinch layers together. So I have four different images. These were reference images for a tutorial and I want them all to be on one layer, not on four different layers. Just take two fingers and then pinch. And what will happen is it will all be on one layer. It's all merged onto one layer. And this can be really useful when you're working with multiple different layers and you have far too many layers and you wanna simplify your file, pinch. I can do the same thing here, pinch. So just pinch and you will merge the layers together and they will become one. That's all for today. Those are the Procreate gestures I use the most and I hope that you'll start using some of them too and simplify your workflow. And if you wanted to get the coloring pages from this video, you can find them in my shop. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.